So then some reward for Ronan. So you begin here. Enough? Yep. So we want to make sure that he doesn't put his head around and kind of get himself in a tangle in the float. So we'll attach the lead from the top. Uh, I'm not sure if we can see it over this side. It comes from the top there. It seems to be a better angle to tie them from. Um, they don't pull against that like they do if it's tied down the front. So we give him some reward. He's done a really good job there with coming on and off and part way on and part way off and um, stood nicely while I did up the bumper. So really happy with that. Um, now we'll go for a little drive and then we'll unload him back here in the same situation so that going places doesn't mean that he's got a, a full-on displacement feeling when he gets off. Okay, so we've just gone for a 10 minute drive, um, basically just out around our track, out the back here, and we're returning to um, the place closest to Ronan's paddock to allow him to kind of come back to somewhere that he knows um, instead of always being somewhere that he doesn't know. So he's got himself a little bit agitated during that. Um, so coming back to somewhere that he knows will be a really good finish to this for him. So we're just giving him some more treats and then we'll undo, hook that up so he can't hit his eye on it and just supervise, make sure he doesn't tip his, put his head around behind him, undo the lead from the front there. And then when we're ready in a moment, we will ask him to come back just a little bit and see if we can replicate what he was doing when he was coming on. Unloading now. I'm done. Ask him to keep his head around the front. So I'll just use my flag a little bit like so to um, encourage him to keep his head that way. Wait till he's standing calmly. Actually, the other thing I will do here is to clean the manure out from underneath his feet. Don't do that. So, spending some time just standing in the float once we've stopped is good. that he's not rushing to get off. Um, so we're just kind of doing, doing things but nobody's in a hurry to go anywhere and so we're creating a more relaxed environment. So wait until he's not pushing on the, on the back here to undo it. Hey, don't put your head around there. Move up a step. Forward a fraction. Just so he's not leaning on the back. Right, I'll move the door. Yeah, so don't put any pressure on his head at all. Because the fog tends to rush. The house tended to rush and knock his head. So I'm going to ask him to come back up and stand.
when he's going backwards, I make sure that my lead is loose and my direction is coming from behind. of hitting their head as their feet kind of drop off the door there um, is often the time that the head goes up a little bit so it's a really good place to stop if we can stop there and then create those last couple of steps as nicely controlled yep, not, not turning yet. and straight back that's really good awesome demo you did good. Well done, Ryan. Right? 